What's up guys, it is me, Mad Samurai84 here, and welcome to my plan and playthrough for Demon Slayer, the Hinokami Chronicles. Uh, if you don't know what Demon Slayer is, basically it's a manga, and uh, this is the uh, video game adaption of the anime that was made of it. Uh, recently, a couple of months back, I've managed to watch the first and second season, been wanting to watch it for ages, thoroughly enjoyed the game, and uh, now I'm, I've got the game on PS5 and I'm playing through it, and I'm showing you how I unlocked all the trophies for the Platinum. Uh, it's fairly simple, quite easy. Uh, basically, this game follows the first season and does halfway through the second season, so you got one and a half seasons here. Uh, it's very enjoyable. Uh, basically, I'm going to show you how I unlock each trophy. Uh, also, I'm going to help you, kind of show you how I get the S ranks, because there are trophies to for you get ranked for each battle. Uh, and I'm going to be showing just like the guides and tips for kind of playing through the game to try help you make it as seamless and easy for you if you are struggling but it's not too much of a hard game but you know i thoroughly enjoyed this game uh, i thoroughly enjoy the anime highly recommend you watch it if you haven't seen it uh, so please like and subscribe to the channel uh, let me know what you think uh, i'm going to be working on some more platinum playthroughs or playthroughs in general and uh, yeah i hope you you like it guys and uh, let's start off with the prologue illuminated by firelight a spiritual dance begins Within the blaze burns a courage tempered by battle. In this conflagration, bonds between warriors are forged. They crystallize together into the pillars of today. Pillars with the strength to slay demons. Even so, the fires of conflict rage on, demons against humans. Within the blaze burns a courage tempered by battle. Within the blaze burns a young man's determination. Too slow. <clears throat> Sabito's movements are so calculated. If I don't focus, he'll just keep deflecting. Tanjiro Kamado. You were once so pitiful, but look at you now. You finally learned proper breathing techniques. You've swung your sword thousands of times, even as your arms were screaming in pain. No matter how many times I knocked you down, you got back up and challenged me again. That shows true strength. The fact that I am facing you with a real sword this time proves it. We finish this tonight. Summon every ounce of determination you can muster. I won't be holding back. And neither should you. Now come! So that's your plan. 
You were able to handle that? Not bad. I need to use the skills Uro Kodaki taught me to take down Sabito! Come on, Tanjiro! You can do this! Water wheel! Water wheel! You have good control. So you can fight. There, that's it. I need to summon everything I'm capable of. I can't hold anything back. I'm coming after you. I will not yield. Splendid. This will end it! This will end it! Water breathing! Transform! Constant flux! You've grown strong. There you go. Hold it! There! Too slow! You lack resolve. Remember what Uro Kodaki taught you. Move your legs. Don't stop now. If you call yourself a man, then do it. Unless you plan to lie down and die. There's nowhere else to go but forward. Now get up. Grab your sword and face me again. If you can cut this boulder in two, I'll allow you to enter final selection. <laughs> A boulder. To cut it, I need to defeat Sabito. But no matter how many times we fight... <sighs> Why? Where did I go wrong? How did things turn out this way? I was just living my life day by day. Doing honest work with my family. We were poor. But we had a nice meal in town once in a while. We... were so happy. Whenever happiness is destroyed, you'll find the smell of blood in the air. That awful day. The one night I didn't come home, my mother, my siblings, they all died. They were attacked by a demon, and that was it. It must have been painful. You suffered, didn't you? I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. I... I'm sorry. But you're suffering too, aren't you, Tanjiro? Get up. You don't need to suffer alone. I'm here too. Together, you and I can overcome this sadness. Don't you think? That's right. I can't forget that we still have each other. Nesuko. That night, your humanity was torn away from you. But you still managed to hold on to one important thing. Your own life. Sabito's right. Go forward. There's nowhere else to go! I'll find a way to make Nezuko human again. I'll avenge my whole family! I... Made my decision when I picked up the sword. No! Tanjiro! Finally, you've grown into a real man. If I gave up now, Nezuko would never go back to normal. Besides, Uro Kodaki has done so much for me. And I can't waste Makomo's training. Today's the day. 
I will defeat you! Let's go! Now, show me what you can do! That was nothing! I have to use total concentration breathing! Just thinking about it isn't enough. I need to actually do it! Concentrate! Today is the day I defeat Sabito! There's all the blood flowing through your body! Accelerate your heartbeat! With that, I can be as strong as a demon! I can do this! I know I can! Soon, we'll know how strong you've truly become. Will you fall to the ground once again? Or will you finally come out on top? Show me! Here you go! You can do this, Tanjiro! Sixth form, don't leave yourself open! If I were a demon, I'd have killed you already! Sakato's right. It's time to finish this, Tanjiro! He's doing it. In that case... Total concentration! Water breathing! Fourth form! Striking time! A tie? Wait! No! Tanjiro is... There! The opening thread! Winning, Tanjiro. You must defeat him. <gasps> the boulder. Where is Sabito and Makomo? Hmm. <laughs> I didn't think you would actually do it. Hmm. To be honest, I never had any intention of sending you to final selection. I couldn't bear to see any more children die. I was sure you wouldn't be able to cut through this boulder, but... Well done, my boy. Truly remarkable. I am proud, you know. Make sure you come back alive from final selection. Your sister and I will be waiting for you. Within the blaze burns a young man's determination. And with this in his heart, he walks the path of a demon slayer.
Too slow. Let's go. <laughs> To handle that? Not bad. The skills of Kodaki taught me to take down Sabito! So you can fight. You have good control. There, that's it. I need to summon everything I'm capable of! I can't hold anything that I will not yield! This will end it! Water breathing! Conform! Constant flux! Splendid. There you go. Time to finish this, Tanjiro! He's doing it. In that case... Total concentration! Water breathing! Fourth form! Striking time! A tie? Wait. No. Tanjiro is... There! The opening thread! Faster! I still remember a typical morning, the usual faces. A day like any other. You really don't have to go, you know. All this snow seems dangerous. Yes, but I want us to have a feast on New Year's. I should sell as much charcoal as I can. Come back as soon as you can, okay? Be careful out there! Tanjiro! I'll see you later. Our lives weren't easy, but I was happy. Mother, Takeo, Shigeru, Hanako, Rokta, and Nezuko. I thought it was just going to be an ordinary morning. I didn't know. How wrong I'd be.
I was on my way home from selling charcoal. But before I could get very far, Mr. Sabro called out to me. Hang on, Tanjiro! You're not going back up the mountain now, are you? It's too dangerous. Before the demons show up. There's always been man-eating demons prowling about after dark. That's why it's not safe to go outside at night. These demons, they're not able to come inside people's houses, are they? Yes, they could come in. But then wouldn't they just eat everyone? That's why the demon slayers protect us by killing as many as they can. They always have. I stayed the night at Mr. Saburo's place. But to this day, I can't help but think, what if Mr. Saburo hadn't stopped me that night? What would have happened to me? As I reached home, I noticed a sinister scent. Nezuko was a demon. Before I could come to grips with what had happened, a swordsman appeared in front of me. He was there to slay Nezuko. So, I did the only thing I could. I'm begging you. Whatever you do, please, don't kill my little sister. Never give someone else the right to decide who lives and dies. All you're doing is making yourself vulnerable. If it were even a little bit effective, your family would still be alive right now. How can a weakling like you have any hope of finding a way to heal his sister, let alone hunt down a demon? Don't make me laugh. The weak have no rights. They don't get to make choices. All they can do is be relentlessly crushed by the strong. I 
I needed to protect Nezuko. Even if it meant fighting off this swordsman. There was no way an amateur like me could win against him. But luckily, it didn't come to that. He was even kind enough to give me advice. He pointed me down the right path and told me where I should turn next. And once he had his plan, he didn't waste any time putting it into action. Huh. That was unusual. Information. So there's no question. She's starving right now. She must have been craving a feast right from the start. But instead she protected her brother and stood against me. I wonder if just maybe these two are different. And as it turns out, they were different. So, I decided to trust the brother's determination. And give his sister's will a chance. When Orokodaki's training started, I climbed up and down the mountain, swinging my sword countless times. I had to find a way to help Nezuko, and did whatever I needed to do to become a Demon Slayer swordsman. I trained every day. And then, 
One year later. That's it. I've taught you all I can. The rest is up to you. You must prove to me that you are capable of advancing to the next level. If you can cut this boulder in two, I'll allow you to enter final selection. After that day, that was it. He never taught me anything again. From then on, I spent every day practicing what I learned from Earl Kodaki. But, even after six more months, I couldn't cut through the boulder. Am I... not good enough? I'm about to give up. It's impossible! Silence! It's unseemly to whine, so knock it off. A demon slayer bears his suffering in silence. Isn't that what you want to be? Well, you better start acting like it. There was no way I could cut the boulder. I was starting to get impatient and frustrated. When suddenly, this boy appeared before me. His name was Sabito. He had a mysterious aura about him. As I tried to overcome my frustration from not being able to cut through the rock, a boy with a mask appeared. His name was Sabito. And there was a girl standing beside him, Makoma. Sabito acted as my sparring partner, while Makoma watched my movements and gave me advice on how to improve my form. Some days, it was hard to tell if I was improving at all, but bit by bit, I could feel myself growing stronger. All of it has to be hammered into your flesh! More! 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 You have to make sure that you never forget anything Oro Kodaki taught you! Pound it into the marrow of your bones! With total concentration breathing, your blood circulation accelerates, because your heart rate is faster than normal. None of that makes sense. How am I supposed to learn how to do that? Train until it kills you, because really when you get down to it, there's nothing else you can do. Day after day, I fought with Sabito in front of the giant rock while Makomo continued to give me advice. So I trained, till my arms and legs wanted to fall off, till my lungs and heart felt like they were going to burst. I swung my sword. But still, Sabito kept beating me. Until six months later. <laughs> 